Question number 45. The table below shows the sales of shoes in five days. The sales of for Wednesday are not shown. So we have days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, on Monday, that day, the Tuesday, that day, six, Wednesday is not given. Uh, 45 on Thursday and 42 on Friday. The total number of pair of shoes sold was 180. If a pie chart was drawn to represent this information, what part, what angle would represent the number of pairs sold on Wednesday? So in actual sense, uh, the pie chart can represent this information, but the first thing we need to do is to find the number of shoes that were sold on Wednesday. So we have 30, uh, Monday we had 36, so that will give us 6, uh, 36, we had 45, uh, that will give us 1, uh, this is uh, 11, and then finally we have 42, uh, that will give us 3, uh, this is 5, uh, 1. From there, uh, the total number of pair of shoes sold was uh, 180, so we subtract 153 and this we get 7 uh, this is uh, now we borrow 1 here so this remains 7 so that means it is 27 27 pairs uh, were sold on uh, Wednesday uh, which we can even put here 27 so in terms of the angle representation a pie chart normally represent an angle of 360 360 degrees uh, so we say it is 27 uh, that divide by the number of shoes sold uh, that is uh, 180 uh, and you multiply by 360 uh, degrees so we can divide that and we say this is 2 uh, and uh, when you multiply 27 by 2 you get 54 when you get 54 check from the answer you will like, you find that D is a correct answer and that is the answer that you shared uh, on uh, your answer uh, sheet. So here you are uh, tested whether you understand the pie chart. Uh, no, the, yeah, the pie chart and we represent information in terms of degrees uh, where the total degrees around the, the pie chart is 360 so we can be able to represent that information on the pie chart. So that's how you do that question.